It's a massive wave that comes out of deep water, hits the shallow shelf and uh, just barrels off probably the most perfect, insane big wave in the world, in the world. In the world. Somebody actually shouted to me as I got up on the rope and they said, uh, Merry Christmas Twig, ew! And it was this big, big A-frame and I, but I could also see the, the west bowl kind of coming towards it and uh, I thought, oh well, this is the one, you know, this is the one I've been waiting for. Let go of the rope real early, did a couple of S-turns to kind of come into it. I kind of, just skipping down the face, I could just feel the board was all wrong, you know, something, something wasn't quite right there. And, I kind of edged off the bottom in the main bowl, you know, as the whole thing just stands up behind you, just kind of edged off the bottom and saw that the that the west bowl was kind of moving away from me. So I pulled up to do kind of like a high line turn to get, gather speed to kind of rush through the west bowl. And I almost had it under control, but not really, you know, you just like and you could just feel the board da -da 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 coming up and then as I came out of that kind of check top turn to get speed I just knew oh shit you know just way too much speed now can't control the board I could feel the tail kind of cavitating and I was thinking oh shit you're not gonna make it but still give it your best shot and as I came out of that kind of check turn and headed into the bowl I saw these two kind of chops, wind chops off, off the cliff and I knew I had to make them. I kind of just got over the first one and boom, the board just stopped dead on the second wake. And uh, from there I knew it was pretty much over. I'd fallen in the worst place on the worst wave to fall and uh, you know, I was in big trouble. Kind of the board just stopped dead and I went over and landed on my chest and it knocked all the wind out of me. Like this, all the wind knocked out of me. And at that moment, I just thought, you know, pretty much, okay, you're dead, it's over, you know, and just full panic, you're dead, it's finished. And just felt myself kind of just in slow motion as you do, just going up in the lip like this and the whole time I'm just saying to myself in my mind you know there's just no relaxing or anything it's just like you're dead you're dead you've got no breath you know and as I come up and go over I just feel my head kind of pop up and I just like <gasps> the biggest breath you can imagine and as I take that breath everything changes in me I'm just like you're gonna survive and from there I just enjoyed the ride I just kind of just went on this amazing roller coaster ride over the falls. I was kind of facing, and I could see for a split second, I could see everyone out the back like that. And just insane kind of descend over the waterfall, and then boom, just so violent. Straight to the bottom, boom. And as I hit the bottom, I kind of hit on my hands and knees, like cat, cat style, like this. Also, again, kind of hands and knees and chest hit the bottom, but I kind of almost crawled along this huge boulder. It's not small little boulders out there, it's these huge boulders like the size of houses. And I was down there a long time, kind of just like up a little bit and then pushed back down and kind of feeling the boulders again. We had been wearing uh, these double vests for a while now, two Dakan vests on top of each other, like a, a medium and then the triple XL on top. So as soon as the turbulence started to subside, I could actually feel the vests just engaging. And I went from the bottom, from being on the bottom on, on all fours, just to like, almost like a cork, just through the water, just shh, boom, on the surface, like boom, like a cork comes up. And uh, I just looked up and saw the next wave, and the lip was like five feet from impacting, and I was another 10 feet in front of it. It just dragged me for forever. Really long hold down, but uh, again, because of the vests, I could feel the whole time I was pretty close to the surface, you know, just keeping me up in the foam. And uh, even though it, it kept me down for a long time and pulled me probably 100 meters underwater, um, the whole time I felt like I was fine and, and everything would be good. And I popped up for the second one, and there was Greg with the ski, came and grabbed me, and 
like we, you do sometimes after a really bad wipeout, um, I just started, as I grabbed the mat, I just started laughing at him and he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, compared to other wipeouts, this one was definitely right up there. I've had some bad ones. You know, it was one of the only times where I thought to myself, you know, really this is it, you're probably going to die on this one, but then once I got that second breath, everything changed, but um, yeah, I mean, it's not every day you stack it at the bottom of a 25-foot wave at PI. Yeah.